But look, look at Pac-Man. <laughs> Stitch is like, what the hell? Actually, this game was one of the causes for the big video game crash because what happens is this was advertised as, oh, you like that Pac-Man game from the arcade? Well, here's the home version. And then you see the cover and it looks like all the graphics from the that are used on the sides of the cabinet, the arcades. So it's like, oh, this is just like that. And then people bought it. And I was like, what is this crap? This is not Pac-Man. Second level. Yeah, the problem is there's just too much flickering. A lot of the early Atari games had major flickering issues. And it's just... Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's pretty disappointing. Yeah, the ghosts are kind of glitchy. They could kind of go through walls or it just, it just. Interesting that I'm actually doing pretty well in this. Okay, level three. I tried to go left. But the, the NES port of Pac-Man is pretty darn close to the original arcade game. That's when they got it right. Oh, fourth level. Actually, I don't even know if they're levels. I don't know if it's the same thing over and over. I assume this is levels. I think it is going faster. Or maybe that's just my imagination. One life left. Oh. 
Oh, okay. I, oh, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I have one more. No. 